my god, time for a new vlog. How are you motherfuckers doing tonight? I'm doing wonderful. Today is Saturday and just actually logging on RuneScape right now, which is 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mainly, mainly because today I was actually just really busy doing shit. So, yeah, I was out most of the day just doing stuff. Then, uh... For uh, dinner, I ate uh, at a uh, Japanese restaurant, one of those hibachi. If you guys have ever ate at a Japanese restaurant where they do hibachi, they cook the food right in front of you. And I saw a uh, friend of mine choke on a piece of chicken. <laughs> because you, the, sh the chef, um, the, uh, the guy who's cooking the food, you know, the chef, he, uh, decided, you know, he, he throws pieces of food at you and you're supposed to catch them with your mouth. Well, my friend just, for whatever reason, caught the piece of chicken in his mouth, but he was choking on the piece of chicken for a little bit. He's okay, though, but I was actually laughing for a little bit. <laughs> but then again, if it happened to me, he would probably be most likely laughing at me. So, no hard feelings, but... Anyways, let me see what's on the bung board. I have a new RuneScape video, uh, made one yesterday. Making a new video on my uh, real life channel, uh, The Nightmare RH, tomorrow. Um, then, uh, I am 39,000, well, I will be 89 construction as soon as this, probably most likely as soon as this video gets uploaded, I will be 89 construction. But otherwise, last night I did uh, like an hour of construction. Then I got uh, 82 Dungeoneering, and then uh, it's really strange because every single time I come out of a dungeon, whether it's a small dungeon, large dungeon, medium, whatever, I always get a random event. And I got like two last night, so I got 65 Slayer. <laughs> Hooray! Only took about four fucking months to actually get. But now I can go to Dust Devils, which I never am going to go to, but still. Um, so I'm 46,000 experience from 66. I'll probably have 66 Slayer, ah, give or take about fucking seven months. <laughs> I am almost at 200,000 experience for farming, and then once I hit 200,000 experience for farming, then, like, I, I told you guys, it becomes really easy. Because then it just goes by really, really quickly. Even though you get the same amount of experience a day, it just looks a lot better than like 400k or 700k or whatever. But, yeah, that's just some of the shit that happened today and yesterday. But every night I actually would like to at least get like 400,000 experience in construction. That can actually be done in about an hour and a half with me. Although, you can get 400k experience in an hour. But that's literally, you know, non-stop looking at the screen and clicking non-stop. Me, I'm averaging maybe about 250 to sometimes 300k an hour, which is still pretty damn good. <laughs> but, yeah, so 400k a day in construction, that's actually pretty good, and that's kind of what I want. Then just want to do some other type of dungeons, maybe an hour or two doing dungeoneering. That's pretty, you know, simple. Slowly leveling up dungeoneering. But today, one thing I actually do want to talk about is a general store on RuneScape and how much it has really changed over time. Like, I remember when I first started playing this game, I'm, the general store was a lot different. Like, there was, like, like, you could buy a lot of one item. Like, for example, at the Warriors Guild, you used to be able to buy, I think it was, like, pineapple pizzas or some shit. And, uh... <laughs> I used to make a lot of money there, because you would buy, you would, it was an, a limited amount of pineapple pizzas you can actually buy there. Now there's actually a limit. I think it's like a hundred every world or every day or something like that. I remember I used to make a lot of money, close to over a mil an hour, because all you would used to do is buy pineapple pizzas 50 GP each, and then you would sell them the GE for like, I think like 1300. You would make a lot of money. You would make a lot of damn money there. But now the general store is a lot different. Um, it just really is. Like, I remember a long ass time ago, people used to... This was before Maple Longbows Unstrung used to be... What I mean, when Maple Longbows Unstrung were uh, junk items, 
And now you can sell maple longbows unstrung in the GE because people have a need for them. But back in 2008, when I got uh, fletching, uh, there was no need for them. They would not sell in the GE ever. <laughs> so you would just get rid of them as junk items. And a lot of people would used to sell them in the GE and you would always see like tens and tens of thousands of you know unstrungs and stuff like that. But now people use maple and long, uh, longbows unstrung for various things. Like some people use them for at mobilizing armies that retarded ass minigame. Even though it's kind of like, in a way, Command and Conquer, if any of you guys ever played that on uh, PC. I mean, it's not a horrible game, it's just something that I wouldn't do on RuneScape. <laughs> Let's just say that. But the General Store is always updated. Not to mention that, uh, I, I, I haven't tested this, and I don't plan on testing this, but I'm pretty sure if I were to right-click and to eat my pumpkin, it a little message would pop up saying, Whoa, what the fuck are you doing? Dumbass, this is worth a lot of money. Why are you doing this? Why do you want to eat money away? Um, a friend of mine, like, supposedly this is supposed to happen to all items. Like, if you accidentally decide to elk a party hat or elk a whip or something, a little message is supposed to come up that says, Are you sure you want to do this because this is worth a lot of money? Like, a friend of mine, he, for whatever reason, decided to elk his uh, primal uh, mall in Dungeoneering. Um, so, yeah, so I had to play a game with him and make him a Promethean uh, two-handed two, uh, two weapon. Because he didn't have a weapon to kill things with anymore. But, otherwise, a message for him didn't pop up. But, I mean, I know people in the past who elk, like, whips before by accident... Just like shitty stuff like that. But now, supposedly, there is a thing that pops up saying, Are you sure you want to do this? I'm pretty sure if I decide to drop my party hat or drop, like, 20 mil coins on the ground, a little message will come up. Not that this is a bad thing. I'm all for it. I actually like this. This is actually one of the good things they had in this game. Was little mess. It's called, it's a, it's a dummy proof message, if you guys really think about it. It's like saying, you are a dumbass. What are you doing? Why would you throw away this much moolah on the ground? Damn it. But to be honest, guys, the main reason why I wanted to talk about the general store was really... Well, I mean, I got fucked. Because mainly because they don't have, there's not a unlimited supply of things anymore. And, you know, I used to buy pineapple pizzas here and there just to make it like an easy mill an hour. And it was actually a pretty good money-making, you know, money method. But otherwise, now, I mean, who knows what's going to happen in the future. Maybe you can't sell some items. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can sell just about anything to the general store. Although I haven't sold something to the general store in a long-ass time. But I remember when I first started playing RuneScape, when I was, you know, in the general store in Varrock, it used to be filled with people. Selling items, re, you know, buying stuff, buy, buying stuff back and forth. Now, you don't really see that. And it's a little weird if you think about it. Because if you guys remember before the Trade Limit World 2, uh, Varrock and Fally and Sayre's uh, uh, Village used to be filled with people selling trading shit. It was actually kind of fun. Guys, as for tonight, just going to do construction, maybe like a dungeon, not really sure. Um, 140,000 experience to like 83, so, oh well. But otherwise, like I said, that's really, really about it, about the general, general store. Is, uh, there's good memories of the general store, of ways you can make money. But anyways, right now I want to go to my email address, asknamorachiyahoo.com. Do not drink too many yahoos, otherwise you're going to get fucked up. Disclaimer 101. First question, what was the best thing you got from a clue scroll? RS username, I don't fucking know. Okay. It's, you guys see it? Okay, I got nothing. I have never done a clue scroll in my entire RuneScape life, and I actually have a level 3 sitting in my bank for going on about three and a half years now. Kind of one... Uh, sorry, that was the uh, shrimp. Uh, you know, but anyways, okay. Kind of wondering what I will get when I do it, but I will make a video on it soon. Next question. 
Have you seen the movie Iron Man 2? If so, was it good? I have not seen the movie Iron Man 2, and so I, I don't know. <laughs> I saw the first one, and the first one was pretty damn awesome. Although, from a lot of people, they said the second one is retarded, you know, just whatever. I don't listen to people because I judge movies by myself. I love the movie Resident Evil Afterlife, and a couple of my friends said it was retarded, so they can go and fuck themselves, but still. <laughs> I judge movies after I see them, not before I see them. But guys, like I said, I'll be on RuneScape for a little bit, so I'll see some of you guys in my clan chat and elsewhere. But otherwise, if you got anything for me, leave a nasty, dirty little comment. I'll see you motherfuckers tomorrow. Bye.